Hi everybody, Jim from GhostPath here. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up the GhostPath OpenVPN client. And I'm going to be using the Mac version of the app, but the Windows version is pretty much identical, so we shouldn't run into any problems with that. So to get started, let's just find the app and open it up. Now let's just take a second to spend some time looking around inside the app. The first tab here on the left is the most important tab. It's all you really need to use to connect to the VPN. When you open up the app, it does a quick scan to figure out which servers you would be closest to. So those would automatically make the most sense for you to connect to based on your location. And those kind of go in this little folder here, which we'll talk about in a second. But that makes it quick and easy to get started using the service. You don't have to worry about configuring servers or anything like that. So this is where you'll enter the username and the password for the service. The username you should have gotten when you signed up and the password is what you chose in the sign up process. Then all you need to do is click the big connect button to fire up a connection. Give it a second and you'll see that it says you are connected and a little notification up here that your computer is 100% protected. And it's also easy to disconnect from the VPN. All you do is click that same button again, give it just a second, and you will see that now the notification is that you're disconnected. That's all you really need to be able to use the VPN. The client makes it pretty straightforward for you to get connected. But there are a couple other things that I'll show you that may help you to customize how you use the service. The first thing is the second tab here on the left is our locations tab and that allows you to create custom groups of servers that you may want to connect to. For instance, if you wanted to have your traffic appear as if it's originating from Europe, then you can just create a group for Europe and individually drag the VPN servers that you want to use into that group. And then in the first tab you would just connect to the Europe group. So that's pretty simple to do. And the third tab here allows you to do speed tests. So you can see the list of servers is automatically sorted by those that are going to be geographically closest to you. So theoretically those should have the best speeds, but this allows you to do a few different types of tests to see which specific servers may give you better performance. The last tab here is the Preferences tab, and this contains a bunch of advanced OpenVPN settings. So unless there's something specific that you're wanting to do, then I would recommend just leaving these settings all the same, just to make things simpler. So that's really it for the GhostPath OpenVPN client. It's designed to be simple and straightforward to use and without having to do a lot of configuration on your end. So stay tuned and we'll do a few more video overviews of some of the other popular OpenVPN clients. So thanks for watching.